Hey guys, welcome back to Get Ready with MJ. I am MJ and I am so excited you're here. Thank you for coming back and seeing me. We're gonna be taking a few minutes today to review the Wet n Wild Spring Collection that came out. As you guys know, I love drugstore products. I love finding like really awesome dupes of high-end products, but I also love when a drugstore brand like Wet n Wild says, we're gonna do something cool and amazing and over the top all on our own. And this is what this stuff is. So let's talk about some things. The first thing we're gonna talk about are these super fun little highlighters they came out with. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and they're limited edition. This is Lilac to Reality, which is purple and it has like a blue shift to it with a silver heart. It looks like the glitter might be a little on the chunky side, but we're gonna try them both out. This guy right here is the Sweetest Bling. This is a peach with a gold heart in it, also limited edition. These guys on their website are $4.99, but they look like they're marked down to $2.99 right now. So let's try them out. We're gonna try the lilac one first. Um, I actually went out and decided to review these because I saw Jay Kiss's review, and I wasn't trying to copy her, but I saw it and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna pick up some of the lilac and I'm gonna miss the silver heart on the first pass. And that's really very, very pretty. It looked crazy shiny on her but I'm not getting that same like, oh my God glow. Let's pick up a little bit of the silver and see if that adds to it. Yeah, the silver gives you a little extra. That was with the brush. And if you go in with your finger, obviously it's a heavier application. Still very glowy, but not crazy pants. Pretty though, I wear a lot of cool toned highlight colors and I, I enjoy that particular style and color. Peanut Gallery is going in the background here. He's serenading us tonight instead of just screaming his little bird head off. Okay, let's try the sweetest bling. First, I'm gonna do the main color, the peach, without getting the gold heart in the middle. Meh. Let's try it swirled up with the gold heart. Oh, that's much better. Okay, you really do need to pick up the gold heart to get that super shiny look. And it's very pinky, it's not peachy, it's definitely a pink highlight. That's very shiny. I like it. I like both of these, I am fans. Fantastic, now that we've got our highlight on, let's talk about these cheek and lipsticks that they have right now. So I picked up two of the three colors. The other color that they had was more of like a dusty pink and it's just not a color I, uh, that I wear, so I didn't think I would wanna spend the money on it. These guys are the Mega Glow Cheek and Lip Tint. I think Mega Glow is just like their brand thing they're doing right now. I picked up two colors, Flirt on the Street and Crush Upon a Time. Uh, Flirt on the Street is a medium salmon kind of pink. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I didn't mean to flip you off there. Oh, I love that. And the consistency is beautiful. Super soft and creamy. Ooh, okay, Wet n Wild, let's talk about this. Let's try Crush Upon a Time, which is a little bit more of an orange peach in the tube. These are really like sheer, but also super buildable. Yeah, these are gorgeous. These are right up on top, really fond of them. Love these. So far we got some wins, we're doing good. Now they have three little trios and I have pretty good luck with their trios in general. Like I've never bought one that I was like, oh, this is a piece of shit. And I bought Heart and Heavy, which has a white shimmer, a dark plummy purple and then a pink with a lot of like a blue and purple tone duochrome shimmer in it. Then we have Hieroglyphic Heart. This has a bright pretty warm gold, a beautiful crease color. That is so pretty. My lighting is just not very good today. 
And then this one, which is labeled for eyelid, and this is a really pretty copper, and it's got like gold flecks in it. And will you marina me? I love boats, so um, I'll marina anybody. This one has almost the same brown bun color as the last one, but it's got more like silver flecks in it instead of straight up gold. The crease color is a medium warm brown with some slight reddish undertones. And then this blue color right here, the marina color, this guy has got gold and green undertones in it. So let's just do some little swatchy McSwatcher patches. I'm gonna use the little spongy thing that it comes with. Here is that beautiful, really nicely pigmented Okay, was not expecting that. That is so pretty. What a pretty, pretty blue color. Now we're gonna do that medium brown. Really pigmented, really soft consistency. Like nice, nice blendable feels good. And then we're gonna pick the brow bound color, which is the gold with silver looking speckles in it. Very, very soft. But they're all very complementary to each other. Like this is a nice little trio. If like, if you, these trios are great for if you are traveling and you need something you can just throw in your bag real quick. These are awesome for that. Like really, they're always really well designed and the colors go nicely together. You can create a couple of different looks or do one offs or like it, it's a good investment for, you know, what are these guys? Yeah, three bucks, why not? Okay, let's do hieroglyphic heart. I'm gonna start with the brow bone color here, which is the gold with really warm gold undertones. Where do I wanna do this? I'll do this right here. Um, not a lot of color payoff at like at all. Is it, how similar is it to this guy? definitely warmer than the merino one so the next is we're gonna do the crease color which is really pretty in the pan it's like a pinky pinky yeah that's a beautiful crease color like a beautiful blending color it's super light here even with like a couple of passes but that's really pretty that could be very useful with like a nice neutral eye look which is what this little mini palette's a little bit more about an eyelid which is the bronzy one in here that has like super gold undertones so this pigment stuff this one's less pigmented than the other one just that's just the truth it's not saying a bad thing about it just that's the truth that color is pretty um i feel like i would need to use other colors me personally to use this um, I don't think I could use this just on its own, but I also like things to be really pigmented and I like things a little bit more like over the top. Let's do heart and heavy. So first color here, everything in here is like pink undertones. This white, which has lots of like pink and gold shift to it. White's a hard color for manufacturers. Yeah. It's not white. It's it's like a sheer creamy color. It's pretty, it's just, it's not, all I want in life is a blinding white eyeshadow. Let's do the crease color. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That is that shimmery dark plum. And let's do the eyelid color, which is this pink with like purple duochrome. And that's a beautiful pink. Look how pretty that is. I like that. Now, someone asked in the comments why I swatch on my face. It is because the skin on your face is very different than the skin on your arms. So I could swatch here and get a completely different result and feel, ooh, hair color, than if I swatch here. So I don't mind swatching right on top of my face because that's where I'm gonna be using colors like this. Now, just as a test, Let's, let's snag a little brush, do a little blendy blendy action here. How do these guys blend together? Eh, a little patchy. 
Not crazy, just a little patchy. What about over here? How do you blend? Do you blend? Little teeny tiny patchy. Not crazy patchy though. No, okay. Thoughts, total thoughts. These, these could be a ride or die for me. Um, these cheek or lip tints. I probably wouldn't use them on my lips, but I would definitely use them on my cheeks like every day. Probably gonna wear them to work tomorrow. Probably gonna wear them to work like every day after that because they're fantastic. I might even go pick up that color that I said I didn't think I would like just because that's how good it is. The pink highlighting powder, you have to use it with the gold heart or you just don't get any kind of extreme highlight. The silver and purple one is beautiful, but maybe not as intense as I would have liked it to be. I was hoping for it to be like, boom, highlight. And it was more like highlight, which if any of you know me or have been watching my channel for a while, I prefer boom to soft and subtle. These three guys right here, out of the three of them, I like Will You Marina Me and I like Heart and Heavy. I think these two colors from Heart and Heavy and all three colors from William Marina Me are fantastic. This one is just a little too neutral for me. This is the Hieroglyphic Heart. If you like that Instagram baddie neutral look, this would probably work out awesome for you, but it's not the look for me. So um, thank you for hanging out with me for like 10 minutes or so while we talked about awesome drugstore makeup because you can be pretty on a penny and you don't need to spend a ton of money because you're fucking awesome anyways. So, stay on a budget so that you can buy nice things when you really want nice things. And um, this isn't sponsored, but this stuff and these, these actually. No, I'm not holding up these. I'm holding up these. The shit. These are the shit. So, um, if you like my channel, pop that like button. If you really like my channel, tell your friends about it. Check me out on Instagram at broomstick88, just like it's spelled here. And uh, bye. Thanks, friends.